Howdy guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today I am going to be talking George Lynch guitars. Yay! Now I know this is a subject that you guys love and those of you who are regular visitors to the channel, welcome back. And um, you guys know that um, I'm slightly inspired by George Lynch. Just slightly. And I'm on a bit of a George Lynch kick at the moment. So I thought I would share with you my George Lynch guitar collection today. And I have a question for you. What is your favorite George Lynch guitar? I would love to know. So leave a comment in the comments box below and let me know. I'm going to be taking you through all of the George Lynch guitars that I have, either signature series or the ones that have been inspired by George as well. And um, I have one or two or 10. I think it's 10. <laughs> That's what it says on my list on my desk. <laughs> so I'm going to be showing you the guitars and then I'm also going to be um, showing you some tracks which I've done with the guitars, either in George Lynch's style or docking tracks, Lynch Mob, etc, etc. So this is going to be super cool. So stay tuned. And if you're new to the channel and enjoy contents like this, please do hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification. Helps me out a great deal as a contents creator and allows me to keep bringing you awesome contents like this. Please do also give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It is so much appreciated. Okay, let's get going with this. Alrighty, guitar number one has to be the Tiger guitar. Now, um, this isn't an ESP Tiger, it has ESP on the headstock, but this is actually a guitar which uh, my very, very good friend, Michael Spackratella, sent to me as a wedding present. Now, uh, wife doesn't have too much use for it, and I've been telling that joke for 14 years. Yeah, <laughs> it still makes me laugh. <laughs> But anyways, I have been playing this for about 14 years now and it's an awesome guitar. This is a parts caster, um, Warmoth parts, but obviously painted in the style of George's Tiger guitar. Now, George's Tiger guitar is a guitar that he put together himself from parts which he got from Mighty Mike. So it was something that he actually just created from whatever he could get. So um, this is very much in the spirit of what that guitar actually started out as. Much loved guitar, the original has a maple body, maple neck, maple fretboard, it originally had, then the neck changed a number of times. Originally it had a Fender style Falcon bridge, then it changed to a Floyd Rose. The pickups, it's probably had a, a 150 pickups in its lifetime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the current version has the hooker headstock, which was designed by George himself. So very cool guitar, painted in very cool graphics. Got that tiger thing going on. Meow. Yeah. Next up we have the Kamikaze. Kamikaze! 
Um, this was the first signature guitar that ESP actually did, and obviously for George Lynch. Now, my one isn't an original kamikaze, but it is pretty much exactly the same thing. Very heavy, um, extra thick maple body, hence I have the strap on it, because this is a really heavy guitar. This is like 11 or 12 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> it's a super heavy guitar. Sounds great. Very, very assertive tone. Um, in this one, I actually have a Duncan Distortion pickup, which actually came off another one of my George Lynch guitars, which is back there. Yeah. Originally, my um, Skull and Snakes had this Distortion pickup installed on it. Uh, but I installed a different pickup on that one. But anyways, back to Kamikaze. The Kamikaze was originally built with an extra thick, heavy maple body, maple neck, ebony fretboard or rosewood fretboard, and um, the reverse head banana headstock as well. Now this neck came off an ESP LTD guitar. It was a GL500T, which uh, was probably the Purple Tiger um, LTD guitar, which uh, ESP had done some time ago. And it basically, hey, it looks like a Kamikaze, but my style of kamikaze. So very, very cool guitar. You've seen it on lots and lots of videos, including um, In My Dreams. Yeah, where George is doing the stretchy thing with his kind of pinky, etc, etc. Et so is this your favorite George Lynch guitar? I would love to know. Leave a comment. Pulling out the big guns now, the Skull and Bones guitar. Now this is the most iconic George Lynch guitar, in my opinion anyways. What do you think? All right, so this guitar is my personal um, Skull and Bones guitar, which I built a few years ago. This is part of my Spirit Dance guitars range. I'm actually building another one of these for a client at the moment. And um, it's a fun process, takes quite a long time because I hand carve everything. It's about 60 odd hours worth of work, but so worth it. Anyways, this guitar was introduced to the world in 1986 on the video It's Not Love by Dokken. Now legend has it that uh, George was handed the guitar that day, just a little while before the video shoot, by John Garcia, aka J Frog, who built the guitar for him. The guitar featured a mahogany body, which had been carved with the um, Skull and Bones graphic and painted um, white and black. My one's actually natural, the body's actually made of maple on my one, so it's quite a weight on this one and um, I've actually had the pleasure of playing the original guitar to say that was a bit of a spiritual experience is an understatement it was absolutely amazing huge thanks to my friends Craig Rundles and Jonathan Mancuda for arranging that that's just phenomenal phenomenal evening playing that actual guitar which was on the video this guitar is such a feast for the eyes is it your favorite let me know
from Skull and Bones to Skull and Snakes. Yeah, this is the ESP Skull and Snakes. This is the original 1990 model, which uh, was the original, the first model to come out with the strap style headstock, the ESP strap style headstock. My one is signed by George Lynch. It's back there somewhere. <laughs> he signed it for me when he did a clinic in uh, Birmingham in the UK in 2006. And uh, my then girlfriend, my now wife, uh, and I went out and um, hung out with him and his wife and uh, spent the evening with them and I had him sign my guitars which was very very cool now this guitar I remember seeing on all the guitar magazines I had just gotten into starting to play guitar and this was plastered all over them in the um, late 89 early 90 kind of time period and I used to look at this and uh, I just wanted this guitar because of these awesome 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 graphics and I absolutely adore it still now uh, it still looks very very cool I have it basically living up there all the time so when I'm working at my workstation there I can see it I can just like look around and it's right there this guitar sounds absolutely amazing it's got one of the best tones which I've ever heard and the neck is the just sublime is the profile on this is just incredible really really cool guitar so there you go skull and snakes for you In about 1991, I bought the REH George Lynch video and on it he was playing an orange ESP guitar which just looked awesome and he played that amazing track at the beginning of that REH video. Just stunning, 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 stunning. And uh, this is basically just a parts caster version of that guitar. I actually bought the body off um, eBay many, many moons ago, the neck from eBay as well. This is actually the second neck which has been on this guitar. Um, very cool to play. I haven't played this one for a while actually. It's been gathering dust so um, needs to be pulled out and played. But this was one of those kind of guitars which was just a, an absolute eye catcher. It looks incredible. This one plays really nice as well. Legend has it that the original guitar had a solid curly maple body and a um, maple neck, um, I think ebony fretboard, don't remember, this one has a rosewood fretboard on it, uh, have the strat style headstock on there as well, very cool guitar to play, and like I said, it's a real eye catcher this one.
Next up is the ESP Serpent. This is a really rare guitar. This is the actual ESP version, which was released in about um, 1995, I believe. Um, this one, again, signed by George at the back of the headstock. Um, I'd basically taken this along to that clinic, which I mentioned when I showed you the Skull and Snakes back there. <laughs> and I had George sign it. Awesome graphics on it, very tattoo-esque graphics. Uh, there was a Serpent 2, which was released as well, which actually had um, a see-through finish on the top there and um, Flame Maple, it was very, very, very cool. This is a great guitar. Um, I play it now and then. It has a lightweight ash body, maple neck, um, rosewood fretboard, this uh, Strat style headstock, but reversed. I always love that about this guitar. And this is one of those guitars which I try and keep in really good shape all the time because you know what? It is just so, so super rare. Love it. Love the way it looks, love the way it plays, great neck on it, great tone as well. Next up, we have a Strat style guitar. This is the uh, GL256, and I'm going to put the GL56 and the 256 in the same category. Very, very, very super cool guitar. Now, you know, I wasn't really into Strats before um, I actually played the uh, 256. Now, originally, um, I had the uh, 256 because I was changing the pickups out for my very good friend, Tim Wallace and uh, I had the guitar while I was recording my album Circle of Fire. Ended up, I loved it so much that I recorded most of the solos with this guitar. Didn't look like this at the time. <laughs> the original one has a white um, scratch plate there and uh, didn't have the snake skin. I added that later to kind of just give it my own touch and stuff. Very, very cool guitar. The neck is fantastic. This is the 256 neck, but it feels so, so good. It's one of the best necks which I've played on any guitar um, regardless of kind of you know ESP or LTD or whatever it is. Um, I upgraded some of the parts on this one. Uh, this one currently has a bare knuckle pickups Rebel Yell in the bridge and um, I think these are end whistle pickups I can't remember for sure and spurs all locking tuners on it as well. Super super cool guitar makes some very very cool stratty and super stratty sounds plays beautifully and like I said played it on my album Circle of Fire if you haven't checked that out Please do um, check it out. The links are in the description box below. So, is this one your favorite guitar? Let me know.
humble Telecaster. We've seen this in different guises in George Lynch's hands over the years. This is my personal Telecaster. The body from this guitar is actually from the first guitar I ever owned. It was made by Maya Guitars, which was a Japanese company back then. Um, I think they're still around. They've resurrected and uh, they still make guitars, which is pretty damn cool. And I held on to the body, sold the neck many years ago. This is actually the second or third neck which has been on this guitar. Um, and Again, you know, I kind of like did my own thing. I spiritualized it, you know, gave it the spirit dance treatment. A little bit of snake skin. This is actually stingray skin. This is from old um, cowboy boots, which I used to wear, which I wasn't wearing anymore and didn't want to throw them away. So it ended up being the scratch plate there, which looks super, super cool. Very, very hard material to work with, but looks awesome. Now, we've seen George play these uh, now and then. He has a blue Telecaster, which um, he absolutely adores. Uh, during the uh, Wicked Sensation days, he actually had one with um, some pretty cool graphics. They were kind of bubbles or something all, all across the, um, uh, the whole body, which um, ESP had built. And we know that George loves his tellies. Do you love your tellies? Let me know. <laughs>
In more recent years, George has started Mr. Scary Guitars, and um, this is my take on a Mr. Scary Guitar. This is my take on the Burnt Tiger, which is the next guitar up. Now, the body from this guitar um, is actually from the first guitar I ever built. I built it back in about 1990, 1991 uh, for a school project. Yeah, for a design graphics project. And um, my teacher was actually a uh, luthier as well. And he helped me build the, the actual um, guitar. Um, had a different neck on it at the time. Um, I sucked at making the neck at, at that time. So I've replaced it since then with this uh, 24 fret neck. Uh, great guitar. This body is actually made of one piece mahogany. This piece of wood must be like 100 years old now. It's crazy. Very, very resonant um, piece of wood. Now the story behind the Burnt Tiger guitar, the original one, was that Tony Ortiz had approached George and um, suggested that they build a Tiger guitar, but crossing it with the Skull and Bones guitar. And that's how the original Burnt Tiger was born. And it basically featured the Tiger graphics, but routed out. Now, I'm a bit of a stickler when I come to routing and I kind of do super, super, super duper deep routing on my guitars. <laughs> so the routing on this is very, very deep. It's about three quarters of an inch. Um, on the Mr. Scary guitars, I think it's about a quarter of an inch or half an inch. But anyways, this is my guitar. This is my take on the guitar and I love it. I play this sometimes and always sounds absolutely amazing. Now this video wouldn't be complete if I didn't mention this guitar. I have used this guitar on most of my George Lynch style videos and um, especially when I was doing Lynch licks, this would be my go-to guitar. Now, why am I including this guitar in the lineup? It's not technically a George Lynch series guitar, but it's very inspired by George. Uh, the neck on this guitar is actually from a GL256. Yep, found another neck for the 256 at the time. I loved the neck so much that um, I sourced it, luckily found one. But um, the reason that I'm including this is because, like I said at the beginning of the video, the Tiger guitar was a parts caster which George put together himself. So this is kind of my Tiger guitar. This is a guitar which I put together myself and I put all the hardware and the pickups and um, all of the things that I personally love and I wanted on my guitar. 
So this one has a Mr. Scary pickup in the bridge. It has an end whistle, XS62N single coil in the neck. Um, has just a volume pot on there, no tone pot, three-way switch. Um, I can't even remember if this, yeah, this is coil splittable. This is a push-pull volume pot on here. A Wilkinson VS100 uh, bridge, which I absolutely adore. Just a very, very simple guitar. Lovely, lovely tone from this one. So this is very, very, very much fulfilling the ethos of that original guitar which George created. So there you go guys, there's my collection of George Lynch guitars and George Lynch inspired guitars. I would love to know which one is your favorite. So please do leave a comment below and let me know. And if you want to show me your guitars, please do leave a link below to your social media or a YouTube video or something. I would love to see them. 
all right guys and girls i hope you enjoyed that i shall see you again with another video really really soon in the meantime i'm gonna play you out with some lynch style music enjoy and i'll see you next time see you later bye